Hey, hey, gamers! Welcome to episode two, episode two of Doki Doki Blue Skies. Just watch the last episode. I'm not going to do any recaps. Come on. Uh, so, do you have any rec? Oh wait, no, that's me. Uh, so, do you have any recommendations? Take a closer look at the books. As I say that, to my surprise, I noticed that the little helmets extend to the bottom of the shelves. When I glance at the girls on the he is staring out at her too. Her eyes suddenly meet, and she looks like blushing on the top. Will, Will, what do you like to read, huh? Honestly, I just read manga most of the time, so the collection down there probably like, I didn't know the manga was allowed in the classroom like this. <laughs> those are actually the turkeys. Don't just say it like that. I, I put them there while I was only all in the closet. Monica always misses with my collection when she goes in there, so I'm trying to make more space for them. As she says that Suki shoots a look at Monica, who smiles sweetly in return. What series do you have? For a lot, I don't think I recommend many here. Most of the books are vibrant colored with big blocky letters and empty titles. The bosses are made of rice ball blanket, orange high school, night club. And these references. If they're references, something I don't know to what. The problem is that they're either weird or demographic or something else that's simply terrible. If you're going to do it, you can do it from the glass on the door. That's a line straight from the original. She points at the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. I could just tell by your expression. I'll tell you one thing, Billy. Never judge a book by its cover. Oh, okay, well, okay. I got the, I got the line. I'm sorry. I don't understand that, Suki, alright? I don't know all of the words. I'm sorry. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Right form of it as well. Gotta love that. In fact, that's okay. Stop solving all that. That's okay. Stop solving the book. Jeff Allen, I'm out of the way. It was a very pink book out from the box. I'm gonna show you it. I'm going to show you exactly why. Oh no, it's parfait, girls. <laughs> this is why I don't like that. I stare at the cover. The first one being a series of total parfait girls. I features uh, four girls in colorful attires, drawn from feminine, uh, animated feminine poses, like. Apparently, according to Monica, it's exceedingly Mo. Is it Mo or Moe? I think it's Mo. Well, don't just stand there. What? That's okay. Have you considered that maybe Billy really might not want to read this? I forgot a voice. Excuse me. How are you to say that Billy likes or dislikes something? I quickly break into trying to relieve some of the sudden tension. Um, thanks for your concern, Yuri, but I'm definitely trying to open up to new things. I don't usually read this stuff, but I'm willing to give it a try. Oh, oh, alright then. That's you can try and be smirks again while Yuri bashfully looks away. I guess I can't satisfy everyone. Is that a challenge? I'd have thought you spent more time enough in the literature club than all not to do the books by their covers, either Yuri. But you could have deep storylines as your novels came. I never said that they can't. It's just. Your looks like she's holding herself right through saying something. Like the world. Just because they have pictures in them, they try to show something. Well, there's a reason why people say a picture's worth a thousand words. Sometimes, there can be things that are best described from art. I know that's both good art and good writing to, to create fantastic stories. Plus, being able to actually see the characters helps you relate and emphasize with them, makes up for your lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. I mean, we got OGs and stuff like that. Yuri thinks to herself, looking a bit perturbed. I don't, perturbed? I don't know that word. I'm small, right? I, I see, I just meant language a bit, a bit unorthodox as medium. One language is literature too. It's obvious that the two girls have their differences. Yuri appears comparably more mature and timid, and seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Meanwhile, Nats Natsuki seems to be a lot more forward than outspoken. You could say that again. And although she looks like the youngest of the club, she's clearly just as passionate about her hobbies as the other ones are. Anyway, this will be your homework today, Billy. I'll let you borrow, I'll let you borrow volume one for tonight, so you can start reading the next book tomorrow. But if you smudge or bend it, I'll kill you. Ah, oh, you don't have to worry about that, I'm pretty protective of one thing too. Is it really alright if I borrow it though? I said I'm just going to use my spit to read this. 
the Natsuki plot is it's always dry. Maybe I'm biased, but nothing interesting happens in, in any Natsuki route. If they can figure out a way to get a Natsuki route to be interesting to me, they're good writers. Not to say Natsuvato isn't a good writer, obviously. Brilliant, but it would take forever if you to finish if you're on your lead it here. I might fall behind for shows if I try to get through this. Oh well. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in the exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. I'm almost getting what will happen if I don't finish it. Yeah, exactly. Buff Suki will kill you. Okay then, not me. I can't help but shiver at it. Yeah, I I guess I shouldn't have done the rest of our high school girls on it. Hopefully I can get a good skin for it. Make sure you'll read it thoroughly, because I'll be quizzing you on it tomorrow. Is she a mind reader? Oh no. Oh no. Is that foreshadowing? Is that Suki going to be the one that's, uh... No, that wouldn't work at all. In that case, I think I'm going to shot now, actually. I'll make sure I have enough time to finish it after all. Fine, but keep... Fine, but I'll keep you a close eye on you then. I slide into, one, into a nearby desk, but the rest of the girls dissipate, moving to work on their own things. I quickly start flipping through the pages. Given the pages take up the majority of space, in, given that the pages take up the majority of space on the pages of manga, it doesn't take long to get through the beginning. As a reader, I start to more and more aware of Natsuki speaking, uh, seeking, sneaking peeks in my direction. She seems intently focused on my face, as if waiting to see my reactions to her manga. I clear my throat. <coughs> Natsuki, did you need something? You seem to really like looking in my direction. She just wants this massive heart. I feel a smile creeping through and Natsuki starts to furiously blush and splutters for a response. I can't talk. You, you idiot, it's not like I was looking at you or anything, I was just staring into space. Don't you have anything better to do? Yeah, of course. With that, Natsuki hopefully turns away to seek refuge in the closet, where the rummaging sounds soon follow. I just really keep on reading them. As it turns out, our fair girls is just as I imagined it it would be. Really, really bad. <laughs> Honestly, I think that Sawato could make parfait girls and it would sell crazy. I'm not saying he should, because I loved it much more enthusiastic about, you know, a sequel, which was, when was that promise 2018? Yeah. And then he said, oh, um, no, 2019. Oh, no, wait, uh, uh, December 2019. Oh, <laughs> sorry, uh, 2020. Uh, <laughs> I should make fun of him. It's basically about a bunch of friends in high school and the cutie hijinks that they get themselves into. Is that a word? Typical slice of life affair. I can provide these since it's rather for to be entertaining enough to make up the ladder plot. I'm feeling that right now. <laughs> To its credit, it does manage to subvert selling the matrix quite neatly, though. The more I read, the more I can see what it appeals to Natsuki. All the talk about appearing, the expressiveness of art. Although I don't exactly read romance maybe usually, the artist usually does a good job of portraying the girls as their own characters. I often find that the girls in these sorts of stories are bland and unoriginal, not to mention that they often suffer from the same face syndrome, too. Is that a dig? <laughs> I feel like that's a bit of a dig. So it's a pleasant surprise to find that, that the title characters are like all and unique in their own ways. Yeah. Still, over time, I can't help but grow a little bored though. Yeah. It's the price you pay for an answer, Kira, I'm afraid. I saw him finish it later tonight and place the novel in my bag. Looking up, I spot Sarah reading really something, might as well see what she's up to. Standing up with a stretch, I went by over and take a seat next to her. Hey, how's it going, Sari? What are you reading? As I sit down, I notice that she looks quite content. Nothing much, just reading some stuff for a school project. What about you? You looked really into your book. Not that book was into me. What's that even mean? Oh yeah, it was a good read, at least as far as I can tell right now. Is it? I can't have a wish I sound a little more enthusiastic. That's great. So how are you liking the club? Oh wait, that's the wrong voice. That's great. So how are you liking the club? A little bored, are you? She looks a little worried, her cheerful persona faltering for a while. Why 
and a Christian from to be willing to tell her I really feel about clothing. Of course not, Sayori. Sure, I haven't been here for long, but I've enjoyed meeting everyone. They've opened up my eyes to new stuff. I know it's been a huge on week, but I'm confident the literature club could change that. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're involved. I don't want I don't want I don't want to join a club that you you don't want to join a club that you have no interest in writing. I can't read. I know what you mean. I think reading will grow on me in time, actually. Do you mind if I sit with you and read? She looks at me, clearly surprised. I don't think she was expecting me to sit next to her, but nonetheless, she seems happy. Her smile is infectious, lifting my own spirits as well. It is wholesome. Sayori. Sayori's growing on me. As a character, she's still unattractive. That has a personality, she's annoying. And she has very few redeeming qualities. However, I think that's part of the charm. That would be great, Billy. <laughs> here, here. We meet for a while, which turns into talking fairly quickly. Our conversation will continue with the travel and walk to school. It's just nice to see and talk with my childhood friend. You could have guessed that reconnecting would be so easy. I haven't felt this content for as long as I can remember. The good mood reflects on her as well, given that she seemed very lifted and bubbly. I don't know what it is about her that makes me feel so at ease. I'm gonna be honest, every time she's on screen, I'm the opposite of at ease. Oh, well, we've been talking for a bit, haven't we? And then I didn't even realise the time. <laughs> I guess we have been talking for a while. I can see why you come to the literature club so much. There really is a welcome tease vibe here. It must be a nice change of oh. oh well. I was hoping you'd say that really it really is. I'm grateful for you this as well. They really help make the club the way it is. I can't help but notice that that's a huge seems to be very different though to the argue much. She looks a little downcast at my question. Sometimes, yes, but thankfully it isn't often. I can sense this isn't the topic she likes discussing. Honestly, I want to see a, a diss track between the, like a rap battle between the two, that would be good. That's the one I get on it. I know you can run music, get on it. Just then, one of you gets up from the desk, you'll see the other. the one confidently. <laughs> oh no. Okay, everyone. I hope you're having a good time so far. In fact, this music that's playing right now, it's called Okay, Everyone. Just so you know, I hope my face cam is working normally, because when I did Minecraft, it wasn't. There's a good moment of silence during which everyone seems to be at me, but they want me to respond. I want to say I'm going to the next floor. Well, that's great to hear. As it turns out, Natsuki made some cupcakes for the club too. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just about to announce it, so let me get them. Let's go sit over there, Billy. It looks like this moment was death for all of us. I dutifully follow Sayori where the, where the rest of the girls have pulled up a couple of desks for the table. How about I make some tea as well? As you can carry, walk over to the corner room where Natsuki grabs the wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling a bit awkward, I opt to take a seat next to Sayori. It's going to be a slice of dialogue and we're going to go to Meanwhile, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table with train hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Well! We get to see them! Oh my god, they are very cute. In Mother Russia, Cupcake eats you. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of chocolate used to make ears. Sad, sad. Oh, you know, so cute. I had no idea you were this good at baking the turkey. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. In Mother Russia, Cupcake takes you. Say one grabs on. Say one grabs on first, then one can I follow. Poor Yuri. Mm -hmm. So I talked with a mouthful. Predicted. Nobody has managed to get icing on the face. I have to have a cupcake right on my finger looking for the best angle to take a bite. That's who she's going to look at you as if she's waiting for you to take a bite and then you're going to finally bite down and the cupcake's full of flavour. Full of flavour. Cakes are amazing. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better thank me because this took a hard work to do. Yeah, it really seemed like it. Did you make it by yourself or did your parents help you? <sighs> oh. <laughs> uh, 
uh, this face is going to go. Oh, okay. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Are you saying I couldn't have done it myself? I thought she was going to get way more affected by that. Ah, uh, no. It just seems professionally you've made it, so I was wondering if it was a financial beta I helped you. Oh. I wish my dad was a baker, but just because I don't bake from money doesn't mean that I can't be good. In Soviet Russia, dad bakes you. Yeah, you're right, sorry, I just suck at cooking myself, so I'm wild by good cooking. I guess I should count myself lucky that I got to try and cook it today, eh? Uh huh, so they every day that I have the time to bake, so be thankful. The expression of Natsuki's pregnant practice is bowed down before me present. This is why I don't like Natsuki. She's annoying. I have the expected Billy Cole. Uh, are you expecting Billy to prostrate himself before you? <laughs> Looks like Monica had the same thought. <laughs> you can't blame Natsuki for bragging about uh, I would too if I made these. Yeah, exactly. I could be that like Natsuki's well, you're able to scale with carrying a tea set. She had replaced the tea cup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cooking tray. Damn it, I've already drunk my tea. Ah, uh, I guess. Hey, hey, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Hey, that, that's not. I'm embarrassed. Yuri looks away. I, I meant that. You know. Don't worry about it. I believe you. Why are you sick son of a b-word? I mean daughter of a b-word. Or just b-word. Do you really want to be a common craft for me, but at least I can appreciate- That's a different line. But at least I can enjoy tea, is what they said in the original game. I'm glad. You're his voice making me go lightheaded. <laughs> An eyebrow and smiles at me. I'm happy that you like. I'm happy. I'm happy that you look like you're enjoying yourself, Billy. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make sure that the club is fun and exciting for everyone. When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. Well, that reminds me. I've actually been meaning to ask you something. Monica, how can we decide to start one club? I really hope it's going to be crazy. You'd probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels nothing but, it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, publicity, and how to prepare for events. Our schools really like that. I feel like they're not. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I think it encourages others to get into literature that are fulfilling their dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Offering. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. I guess it must be hard to start a new club since everyone's probably set it down in their own activities already. You could put it that way. It can be hard to get people interested in things that are so brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. I mean, literature grabs my attention now, Jesus. <laughs> Every time I'm like, teachers are like, oh, English literature, I'm like, <laughs> School events like the Cultural Festival, that much more important. Cultural, they added that word. I don't know why. Speaking of school events, I don't think I saw your club at the club fair at the beginning of the year. Ah, that's because I hadn't started it yet, uh huh. Ah, I guess I explained why I don't have my numbers yet. Yeah, we, we missed that opportunity to draw it in first years who hadn't found clubs yet. It's a lot harder to advertise on a person by person basis. And like you said, it's a lot of people that already have other extracurriculars back now. But even so, I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You'll know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Here's the last time they're all going to be happy together. That's my prediction. Again, I don't know if it's happy or sad or all small or One of them must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by the idea of new member joining. Though I still don't really remember if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. By the way, I know that everyone here loves reading, but you guys write as well. Oh, this is gonna send some tension to the room. Oh, okay, never mind. 
actually. Okay, it's uh, okay. No, it's play with me. This is play with me. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. It's not excuse me. And actually, we haven't really done any writing together, funnily enough. Do you guys read and discuss books then? This is new, I like it. Aha, uh -huh, you could say that. It's a lot of normal book club than a literature club. And to be honest, I was kind of expecting you all to do stuff like write poetry together. And the word poetry, now to be dropped back a bit. Like that. Do you not like poetry, that's okay. Well, but then, I, I don't really have an opinion on it, I guess. This is good music. Oh, uh, really? The slice my mind, I guess, and then through the back of my mind. Oh, oh. <laughs> I happen to have a poem here called, Hey! Oh, no, that's not a voice, was it? Here, where do you get that? Animate. Cool. That's okay, springs up, and it's not just a day that I want it as a don't worry, I didn't steal it from your bag or anything, you trapped it on the way out the other day. I'm gonna return it, but I couldn't help teasing you a bit before I did that. Oh no. Well, I'd appreciate it if you kept your... Well, I'd appreciate it if you kept your nosy nose out of my private work. There isn't that much of a nose, I'm gonna be honest. Aha, uh -huh, you didn't note it, and sorry, I just couldn't help but glance at your poem when I picked it up. Your writing style is really cute, that's okay. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything about you is so cute. Oh, okay, no close, okay, cool. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Okay, so that series lies up behind us, you can and how long have we been recording for? 24 minutes. Holy crap. <laughs> I might end this episode here, because, you know, time and stuff. So let's save. Alright. Thanks for watching, gamers. Uh, the next video will be whenever it is, I don't know yet. Anywho, uh, enjoy. Bye-bye. Uh,